National Driller recently attended the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association Expo in Baltimore. We spoke with columnist Jay Egg, who talked about the conference, geothermal marketing, and social media. I'm loving the research assimilation from the Department of Energy, which if my wife were here with me, she would say, come on, let's go shopping. She'd be like, but I'm enjoying that the most, and that's what I'm attending mostly, is the, um, the uh, assimilation of research that has been done so far. And I really enjoy the venue because I love Baltimore. I rarely get to come here, and it's so steeped in U.S. history. The most important step is to get listed, get certified or listed with the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, which we call IGSPA, and get listed with GeoExchange. Those are the two professional organizations they need to be most involved with. The social media and sharing of their own knowledge is very important. It's one of the things I'm going to cover today, uh, tomorrow in the geothermal workshop on, uh, on marketing. Right now there are about three to four thousand geothermal professionals listed on, uh, listed at, on the ICHPA website uh, that are certified to do geothermal. He estimated that in five to six years there will need to be thirty to forty thousand in order to handle the volume of work they foresee coming there's a big change coming. So the reason geothermal hasn't been as far implemented as the others is because it is an invisible technology. So people don't have anything to show off once it's done, but it's, it's coming. And the DOE has told us in their sessions this morning that they're uh, preparing to do a lot more promotion, incentives, and so forth for the geothermal HVAC industry.